Hey guys, welcome. So in this lecture, I'm going to explain you about the rest block. Okay, so I'm here in the environment. Okay, I'm just showing you like this is the environment. What were, what was happening in the environment? You have created the, all the handles, right? For what are all the blocks are there? What are the blocks are there? Was a driver, driver monitors, scoreboards, generator block, cover groups. All these blocks were there, and you have created the handles, and you have created a new thing over there, right? Next thing, what what you were you were trying to do is in that you see. All the handles were created, then all the memories for things are created. All for all the mailboxes, memory was created. Then in driver and in the monitors, we are passing packet one, mailbox, and interface, right? Packets, interface, and uh, mailbox. You are passing, right? Interface is coming from your test case. Okay, that is uh, obvious, right? Interface coming from the test case. This is the uh, mailbox you have created from the environment itself. Okay, and the packet one. There are four packets, so all four have different memories, right? Because you created new for them, right? So be sure about that. So they don't have a different memory. So they don't. They are not same. Packet one is different. Packet two is different. Packet three is different. Packet four is different. All four are different, right? Now let's go to the monitor side. What is happening in the monitor? You have monitors. You have created the handles. Okay, mailbox. You created the handle. Monitor to scoreboard. That's the only thing, right? You see. What is happening in the monitor? Monitor is getting the information from the interface. So, uh, what is a good word to call this? This is nothing but mailbox monitor to scoreboard. I have only in a way one mailbox for that, right? Monitor to scoreboard. Then I'm creating the virtual function. I need to use the use for the interface, right? Uh, this is the only way you can connect in the dynamic environment. Okay, and then this is a mailbox. Then this virtual. Okay. And then this is the scope operator. By scope operator, you are doing this thing. So what you are doing here is you are connecting arguments, connecting arguments to local class variables. Right. That's what we are doing. That's it, right? You see this. This dot packet, it's the local class variable. This dot monitor dot sp, this is the local class variable here. This dot intf is the local class variable like declared in line number eight. And what you are doing is you are assigning the arguments. How these arguments are coming? These arguments are coming from the environment. Okay, like packet one, packet two, packet three, packet four, right? Packet three, packet four is coming from packet three is coming from monitor one, and uh, monitor two uh, score. Monitor to scoreboard or was the mailbox which was created in the environment and this is the virtual function. Okay, in the test case, it's coming right. This is done now. In the run case, what are you doing? You see, monitor run phase. What will happen whenever you will call this monitor run function? It will execute it infinite number of times, but it will wait. It will wait for the clock positive age. When packet is enabled, right? Packet dot enable. I am doing is interface dot enable. So Inter packet uh, value I'm collecting, right? Uh, packet value I'm collecting from where? Packet dot enable. Packet dot enable is equal to interface dot enable, right? So this packet three, whatever composition it has, right? That will be coming here. Clear? Now you see packet dot enable is one. Okay, I'm checking whether in packet dot enable is one or not. And interface right zero. So this is what? This means what? Right zero is equal to one. What do you mean by that? That is nothing but a read operation. Okay, in monitor one, I am checking whether it's a read operation. If it is a read operation, I am saying is in packets, I am writing packet dot write is equal to interface dot write zero. So whatever is the information in the interface, I am rewriting it into the packets. Got it? Earlier, what were happening in driver? Whatever information was in the packets, we are writing into the Interface because we are driving the things now in monitor. What is what we are doing? We are collecting the information from where you will collect the information from the duty. But duty is not that giving you direct information. Who is the one who is going to provide the information? Interface, right? So interface has that enable and wr0 variable. It will collect the information from there. Whatever information is it has collected, we are driving the packet variables to that value. Hope you got it right. But when when we are going to drive that packets here in monitor one case, we are driving it when we have the read operation. 
right so if you recall right in driver 1 we were doing the right operation driver 0 or uh, what is driver 2 was there right? driver 2 it was a read operation monitor 1 we are doing the read operation okay in driver 1 we are writing the things in the memory in driver 2 we are reading the information from the memory whatever is inside the duty memories right particular address I hope this much is clear, right? I don't want to elaborate so many things, right? Now that is what we are doing here, right? And you see in this thing here, we are monitored to scoreboard dot put. So what we are doing is in that particular mailbox, we are putting the packet. Hope you got it, right? We are putting that particular packet, and we are just displaying something in the log file. You can see that. What next in the monitor two? There are two monitors, right? Once we have seen, like, let's. So we know now. This is for write. This is for read. This is for read. Monitor two expecting is right, right? You see, same thing. Declarations. You have declared this all the interfaces. Then you have called the external function. Then whatever are things inside arguments are passed to the local class variables. Then I'm in the run phase, right? Where is the run phase called? In the environment. I'll show you. Okay, let's compute this. So we are waiting for the clock positive edge. As as soon as we got the clock positive edge, we are enabling the packet or you know passing the enables whether block is enabled or disabled. Okay, interface uh, variable enable to packet dot enable, and if packet dot enable is one. And interface dot wr1 is one. Now you see this is the wr1, right? So now wr1 reference to data one out. So this is nothing but a read operation. So we are reading here also, right? Because nothing can be written, right? So we will read something. Okay, packet dot wr1. So here you see you see in that one wr0 was there. So we were reading the data zero out. Data zero out variable of the duty port. So let me tell you what is the duty. You see, there were two output ports. One was one was this data zero out, and one was data one out. So this is used for monitor one. This is used for monitor. Okay, got it. So we are again reading here. We are again reading here. Interface values is getting written to the packet. Interface address one is getting written to the address. Then interface data one out is getting written to the packet dot data out. And we are putting that particular packet. That's it. That is in the monitor too. Hope you got this one. We'll discuss further. Okay. I hope you are enjoying this lectures, right? It's not complicated. I am making it. Pretty easy for all of you guys, right? Next, we'll discuss on the generator blocks because we have seen all the blocks. We have seen the drivers and monitors. Now we'll go for the above hierarchy. What is happening in the generator block? Not very complicated, very simple. We see it.